Hi, welcome back to another video. Do you ever bothered with strengthening your tendons? So tendons connect muscles to bones, and they transmit forces from your muscles to your bones, which is what permits bodily movements. Therefore, tendon health isn't just for preventing injuries, it will make you stronger too. For full body movements and compound exercises like squats, deadlifts, pull-ups, and calisthenic work, healthy and strong tendons will enhance your performance. This is because healthy tendons allow your big, impressive muscles to actually express themselves and reach their full potentials. Actually, a healthy tendon is a channel for your muscle to express its power. I bet you don't pay much attention to how to strengthen your tendons and ligaments. This is until you suffer a tendon injury, like tennis elbows. Only then you do realize that training your tendons is just as important as working on your muscle strength and endurance. This is exactly why I make this video. So watch till the end and I'm going to explain to you the best way to build tendon strength for injury prevention. But before I do that, could I ask you for a small favor by hitting the like button, as this would help me to reach a wider audience and sharing your thoughts or feedback in the comments below would make an even bigger impact. Thank you for watching. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to build tendon strength. Well, a lot of you guys are strength and conditioning professionals personal trainers or just familiar with working out already and know how to build up a bicep muscle with muscle protein synthesis. But what you might not know as much about is how to build tendon strength. Well, here is how this video will break down. First, we are going to explore the science of tendon adaptation and collagen synthesis. And then we are going to discuss specific exercises like isometrics, eccentrics or heavy slow resistant training to maximize tendon and ligament strength. Finally, we're going to wrap up with specific exercises and sets and reps that you need to build strong tendons. Let's start with some fascinating research. Take a look at this image of a patellar tendon of an NBA athlete. I want you to specifically look at the white spot on image A, that is tendinopathy, or an area of damaged tendon. Well, believe it or not, the rehab world for years thought that it was actually impossible to heal that area of damaged tendon. They thought that it lacked blood flow and just wouldn't heal. And instead, that you just had to build strong tendons around the area of damaged tendon. But as you can see from images B and C, in this case, the tendon actually did heal. And these occurred over a course of 18 months at that white spot disappeared. It was replaced with strong new tendon. And here is another view of that tendon building up over time. A shows that weak small tendon, and then 18 months later, you can see a much thicker and stronger tendon. Now you can ask two questions. One, what did they do to cause this healing and build into a stronger tendon? And two, can you do it faster than 18 months? Well, I'm going to start with addressing that second question. The process of healing and rebuilding a tendon from damage to much stronger often does occur much faster. For example, here it occurred with an Olympian in less than two months. It is not quite as easy to see as the first example, but this does show the tendon remodeling from the damaged area in the middle of the image on the left to a significantly stronger remodeled tendon on the right. All this to say that you can heal your tendon and you can do so fairly quickly if you do the right training. Okay, now let's answer the most important question that you have. What type of training do you need for building strong tendons like this? Because tendon pain is frustrating and it is obviously much better to just have strong tendons. Well, I have suffered from tendon pain for years in the past. Tennis elbows, golfer's elbows, rotator cuff tear necessitating multiple surgeries. I have done a lot of research on this area and I can tell you that there are three things that you need to get right to actually build strong tendons. And those are time, tension and volume. And once you see the signs of how this works, you will understand how to get all three of those right and you will know exactly how to build strong tendons anywhere in your body. Okay, so let's break it down. Your tendon looks something like this. You have a muscle here and you have some areas of healthy tendon, and then you have some areas of damaged tendon. Whenever you do very fast movements like jumping, sprinting, or parametrics, your tendon has to lengthen very quickly. Now this area of damaged tendon doesn't want to lengthen quickly, 
And there's actually a sort of stress shielding protective mechanism going on here, meaning that your tendon basically protects the area of damage as much as it can. But if the stress is too high, you will probably still end up irritating that area of damaged tendon. So the bottom line is that fast movements like jumping or parametrics don't heal your tendons. And if anything, they just irritate the area of damage, so we wouldn't expect to see tendons remodeling like we saw in the image earlier from doing plyometrics. But there is a different type of exercise that can rebuild tendon, and it is actually the one that they used to rebuild the NBA athlete tendon that we saw before. And that is isometric exercises, meaning an exercise that involves holding a static muscle contraction. For example, a split squat isometric, a leg press isometric, or a leg extension isometric. And here is why it works. During an isometric muscle contraction, you are slowly shortening the muscle and your tendon is slowly relaxing and lengthening. And this is called stress relaxation. And it is a unique stimulus to this area of damaged tendon. In fact, it is one of the only ways to actually stimulate this area of damaged tendon to rebuild into stronger tendon. Because to go from a weak and damaged tendon to a strong tendon, we need those three elements, time, tension, and volume. So let's first talk about time, meaning time under tension. We need a muscle contraction that lasts for long enough so that the muscle can slowly shorten and then the tendon can slowly lengthen. It seems like from the research that the optimal time here is around 30 seconds that allows the tendon to reduce tension by about 45%, giving that stress relaxation response. And remember that stress relaxation or that tendon slowly lengthening is what helps rebuild and reform collagen. But importantly, we can't just hold a weak isometric contraction for 30 seconds, barely trying and expect our tendon to actually get stronger. This is what a lot of people do and it doesn't work. So now let's address the second point, which is tension, meaning that there needs to be enough tension through that tendon and to stimulate it sufficiently that it actually gets stronger. A weak contraction just isn't going to be enough of a stimulus to cause the tissue to need to remodel or get stronger. This is very similar to weight training. If you lift really light weights, you won't expect to see your muscle remodel or get bigger or stronger. The question is, how much tension, specifically for building stronger tendons? Well, across many studies, it seems like that the loading threshold is around 70% of maximum force output. And that is actually pretty challenging. You may require 20 kg dumbbells for split squats or up to over 100 kg for a calf raise hold to hit that 70% maximum force output. Now, you may need to build this up gradually, but the bottom line is this. The loading threshold needs to be reached to build stronger tendons. Okay, so far we have said that you need to hold isometrics for long enough, around 30 seconds, and that you also need enough weight for it to be challenging, around 70% of the maximum force output. But there is one more thing that you need to get right, and that is volume. So how many sets of these 30 seconds challenging isometrics should you do, and how often? And here is what I've seen in the research. You have to consider the individual response. Specifically, your pain should return to baseline within 24 hours. Because the truth is, it is common for there to be some pain if you have weak or damaged tendons, and you are doing these challenging exercises. In fact, strengthening your tendon can happen faster if you push to about a 4 out of 10 pain level, rather than a 0 out of 10 pain level. But that said, it is important that your pain returns to baseline after 24 hours. We don't want to see your pain getting worse. Overall though, I recommend anywhere from 3 to 6 sets of challenging 30 seconds isometrics and potentially 2 to 3 different exercises. For example, you might do 3 sets of a leg extension isometric and 4 sets of a split squat isometric. Now, if you're just maintaining or doing rehab, then you probably only need to pick one exercise. Three sets of 30 seconds will be enough. But if you are working through patellar tendinopathy or Achilles tendinopathy that has been persistent for months, then you may need to work up to four to six sets of two to three different exercises and be really consistent with that for several months. 
In either case though, I recommend training either three days per week or every other day. So that way you give yourself 48 hours between each training session. Since net positive collagen synthesis typically occur around 36 hours. And this principle is very similar to how we would build muscle strength by pushing hard and then taking a rest day. Now, although we have been using the example of the patella tendon, this same principle can be used to build tendon strength in any areas of your body. Say if you have irritated your bicep tendon bench pressing, you can do isometric bench press or an isometric front raise to build up that bicep tendon. Now, if you have irritated your Achilles tendon, then you can do isometric calf raises with a barbell on your shoulders to deliver that high force through the calf and build a stronger Achilles tendon. And you can use long lever bridge holds to build hamstring tendons. And you can use hangboard holds to build fingers and wrist tendons for rock climbing. And you can use wrist extension or wrist supination isometric exercises to build up the lateral elbow for tennis. As you can see now that you know the principle and the science you can apply this to really any area in the body. Okay, but there are two more important things that I want to cover. One is that I want to mention that heavy, slow loading. For example, going through a full range of motion, split squat or calf raise can build tendon strength as well. I typically still recommend starting with the isometric approach in most cases, but I do like choosing those heavy slow control exercises through full range of motion. For example, for an off-season athlete who needs to build both tendon and muscle strength, and if you do want to do slow control movements instead of isometrics, the protocol will be almost identical just for the three sets of 30 seconds instead of holding. Just make sure that you're still loading heavy enough to build that tendon up. Okay, now there's one more thing I want to address, and that is about nutrition and supplementation. In the examples of the tendon rebuilding that I showed earlier, the athletes were supplementing collagen in the form of gelatin 30 to 60 minutes prior to performing the isometrics. I think this can actually make a small to moderate difference for you if you are trying to maximize your tendon strength gains. The study I mentioned recommends specifically 15 grams of gelatin with 225 milligrams of vitamin C, and you can get that from anywhere. Remember that this is not nutritional advice. Please consult with your doctor before taking any supplements. That is tendon training in a nutshell, but of course, there's much more. Please seek further advice from your relevant healthcare professionals. I really hope that this video is helpful for you and points you in the right direction. Because if you get just a few things right, building tendon strength is simple and very effective. Well, if you have learned something today and you appreciate my work, feel free to smash that like button, subscribe so you won't miss any future videos, and drop a comment below if you do have any questions. And I will catch you in the video next week. In the meantime, take care. Thank you for watching until the end. If you like this video, please click the like button. Please leave your comments below and share this video. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future weekly video release. Please also subscribe to this channel. This is free of charge but will help the channel to grow. If you're interested in improving your health and fitness or losing weight, if you suffer from or wish to prevent back pain, please take a look at my book, which is now available from Amazon Worldwide. Thank you.